What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, tips and tricks, and hidden features. So stay tuned if you want to learn how to get the most out of your phone. Now despite it being a very affordable handset, the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus is packed full of a variety of different features and functionalities and many of these are actually pretty hidden. So I'm looking forward to showing you a variety of them here in this video. Now the first thing I wanna show you is a quick and easy way to access the camera app here in the phone, and all you have to do is just double press on the power button. So let's give that a try right now. And there we go, it now pulls up the camera right away. So let's try this once again, but this time we'll try it here from the app drawer. And just like that, it pulls up the camera. So that's a really awesome hidden feature right there. Now the next thing I wanna do is show you how to take a screenshot with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus. And there's actually two different methods that I wanna show you on how to do this. So the first way to take a screenshot is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just hold the volume down and the power button for about a second, just like that. Then from there, you can share it or edit it or it'll automatically save to the device's gallery. Now the second method to take a screenshot involves using the recent apps button. So if you go to the recent apps button, you can pick of any of the apps here that you've loaded up recently to take a screenshot of. So for this example, I do have Chrome right here and you'll see that there's a screenshot button down below. So then from here, I can tap on screenshot. And then from there, it takes a screenshot of the recent app and then I have the same functionalities to share or edit. Now with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, we do have a battery indicator in the upper right corner. The only problem with it though, is that by default, we don't get the exact percentage of battery life remaining here on the device. Now I know for many people, including myself, that can be very convenient so that you don't have to go further into the operating system to actually see that percentage. Now thankfully, we can easily add that here to the phone. All you have to do is just pull down the shade here, go to your settings, which is the gear icon right there, then go to search and then type in percentage and you'll see right there battery percentage. So go there and you'll see right there battery percentage, enable that and then now you'll see no matter where you are throughout the operating system in the upper right corner, we do indeed now have a battery percentage there. Now heading back over to the battery settings page where you can find the battery percentage toggle, we have some other options as well. And the next one that I wanna show you here is called battery saver. So that's not enabled by default, so we'll go there. Enabling this will make it so that only the core functionalities of the smartphone will actually work, but then everything else won't be running. So in exchange for that, you will be getting a lot better battery life. Now, I don't recommend enabling battery saver all the time because you're not gonna be able to have the phone run at its full maximum potential. You can see that it actually already switched the refresh rate as well, back down to 60 hertz from 120 hertz, which I'll talk about a little bit later on in the video here. But basically, if you know that you have a long day ahead of you and no ability to recharge the phone, then definitely enable battery saver. Or if you know that you're getting low on battery and you don't think you'll be able to recharge it, any time in the future, then Battery Saver will also be very helpful in that situation. And you can see also enabled by default here, Battery Saver will turn off when the phone does charge past 90%. So that is really helpful. Now, if you do find yourself activating Battery Saver on a routine basis, you can also go here to set a schedule. Now with the Celero 5G Plus, we do get the traditional Android three button navigation enabled here by default. And I know for many people, that is their preference. They do like this versus gestures. However, if you'd like to add gesture based navigation to the device, or if that's something you've never used and you wanna give it a try, then we can still do that here with the phone. So we're gonna pull down the shade, go to the gear icon for the settings, go to search, type in nav, and you'll see right there, system navigation, and it's right there. And you'll see right now, we do indeed have three button navigation enabled. However, you can go here to gesture navigation and now instead of having the three buttons down here, we just have one small line. So with gesture based navigation, you do swipe up to go home, you swipe partially up to go to your recent apps, and then you swipe from the side to go back. In addition to that, there's some further settings here to customize the sensitivity of the gestures. Now overall, it does come down to personal preference on which of these two navigation methods is better than the other, so I definitely recommend giving both a try, especially if you've never tried one or the other. Now the next thing I wanna show you are some various display settings for this device. So we're gonna pull down the shade once again, go to the gear icon for the settings, 
Then from here, go down to the display. So now that we're in the display settings, you'll see that we have quite a few options here. Now, some of these I won't really go over as you can find these on any Android phone, but I mostly just wanna go over my favorites. Now, dark theme is found on many devices, but I do wanna kind of show this to you right now. Basically by enabling that, it switches a lot of things to be a lot darker. So this is especially useful if you're in a movie theater, for example, or really a variety of different situations later on in the day. Now, you can also tap on that there and set a schedule if you want to. So if you do want dark mode to be enabled during certain hours, you do have that ability. There's also options for font size. So you can make the font larger throughout the whole system here. Also the display size. So if you want everything to be a bit bigger or smaller, you can adjust that as well. There's also an option here for smooth display. Now this is actually not enabled by default. I enabled this after setting up the phone. So one of the signature features here with the Celero 5G Plus is that we are getting that 100 120 hertz refresh rate for the display. Essentially, when you're doing things such as going through the operating system or going on various apps, it'll basically run a lot smoother. So you can see right now that you can kind of see various frames when navigating around the phone. Whereas if you switch over then to 120 hertz, it runs very smoothly. So it looks a lot more premium. It makes the phone look and feel a lot faster as well. And overall, it's a nice feature to have but make sure you actually enable that after getting the phone because it's not enabled by default. And then another one here, tap to wake. So double tap anywhere on the screen to wake the device. So I'm gonna enable that. And then now with the screen off, I can just double tap to turn on the screen. Now, one of my favorite features with Android is definitely the notification shade. So there's a lot of different options here. I like how there's quick toggles to access many functions on the device, and you can even have it tie in with your smart home if that's something that you're doing. However, there's a way to add even more icons here or even remove ones that you don't seem to be using. So all you have to do when you're in this screen here on the shade, you just go to this pen icon and then you'll see all of your various tiles that are already enabled here, but then there's even some others that are not there right now. So for example, maybe you wanna put dark theme there, and maybe you find yourself using the phone's hotspot quite a bit, and maybe you also want to have a quick access to the calculator. You can throw that in there. Maybe we want to remove airplane mode for some reason, even though I probably tend to use that one the most. You can then go out of this, and then now you'll see those various tiles that have been added are now here on the notification shade. So that's really useful and certainly a nice customization. It also helps too that you can rearrange some of these as well. So maybe you find yourself using the hotspot all the time. You can place that even above the actual internet, Wi-Fi, and cellular connection option there. So you can see after adjusting that, we now have hotspot up here in the upper left corner. So a lot of different customizations you can make related to this section. I think a lot of people just go with the default, but if you don't find yourself using certain functionalities here, or maybe there's some that you wanna add in, you can make that adjustment here. And then finally, I wanna show you some customizations you can make for the lock screen here on the phone. So by default, this is how it looks right now. So you get the date and time. So pretty basic, of course, you'll get your notifications as well if you happen to have any. But from here, you can actually go to the settings, go to search, type in lock, and you'll see right there lock screen. Then from there, go there, and you'll see that there are some various customizations that you can make. So for example, you can do always show time and info. So when that's enabled, it'll have basically an always on display going here. So it will always have the time on the display, even if the display is technically off. Now keep in mind though, that with this feature, you are gonna use up a bit more of your battery compared to not having it enabled. And then another option here is add text on lock screen. So I'll add my name, Kevin Breeze, save and then we'll go to the lock screen, and you can see my name is now on the lock screen. So I wish there were more customizations offered here, but those are the extent of them, so keep that in mind. But nonetheless, those are at least some customizations that are offered for the lock screen itself. But this concludes my video on tips, tricks, and hidden features for the Boost Mobile Celero 5G+. Plus. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. And this is certainly a very capable smartphone that I do recommend looking further into if you haven't purchased one yet. And if you already have a Celero 5G+, Plus, let me know what you think of it. Do you think this is a great device? Do you wish it had certain features that it doesn't have? Or are you totally happy about it? Let me know. But this is Kevin, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and have a great rest of your day.